Hi, I'm Dan Shepard, a product manager for Compute Engine. Today, I'm here to talk with you about how you can use VM Manager service in order to maintain in internal compliance for your VMs. Google Cloud VM Manager has been built to help cloud customers build and maintain compliance for their VMs. This includes compliance to operating system patch levels, application, and package installations, such as a package for monitoring agent, backup agents, or any other custom compliance requirement that you, you may have for your VM. To get started, I thought it would be best to start with looking at the reports. On the left, you have our patch management report. This report is available on the dashboard for patch management and shows you how many VMs are patched by OS and when present, uh, how many VMs are not reporting, as you can see in the gray report at the top. To drill down into the details, you can leverage the tabs at the top to show you specifics for each VM, by each patch job, or even scheduled deployment. These alternative views quickly allow you to find and filter by what's most important at the time and understand the health and patch level for each VM inside your project on a single screen. On the right, you'll see our OS configuration management report. This is available in the configuration management dashboard. This report provides you with a view of all the VMs inside of your project. As you can see in the, this report, we have a variety of statuses available, noting whether or not the VM has had policies applied as well as whether or not the VM is in compliance. Clicking on a VM here will show you what policies are applicable to the VM, the state of each policy, as well as the reason why the VM is in that state. This drill down gives you the overall compliance view for your VMs and specifics allowing you and your team to take action as soon as your VM falls out of compliance. And finally, both of these reports are backed up with logs, allowing your team to export logs and, as needed, provide proof to the auditors that you, you've met compliance. So let's take a look at what it looks like to actually go in and get one of these set up. Starting with OS patch management, I'll walk you through the basics of getting a patch job set up. First, we'll open up the OS patch management dashboard from the Compute Engine menu on the left, and then we will click up new patch deployment at the top of the window. From here, you will select the zones in which we wish to include it in the patch deployment. Note that the multi-zone selection is available here, so feel free to select any zones that are applicable for your project. Also remember that the patch deployment is only for this project, so you will need to set, up, set this up for each project that you wish to automate patching. Next, you will see the options to filter VMs. We offer the ability to filter each deployment by a combination of VM instance names and or labels applied to, the, to an instance. We recommend that you create separate deployments for each environment type, say dev, test, and prod. This is easy to do with naming conventions or a label scheme. Finally, you can choose to apply the patch deployment to your managed instance group. But this is something that you should be consider carefully as it can be disruptive to your workloads and the instance group. Instead, we would recommend that you consider features built into managed instance groups that would allow you to apply blue-green style deployments with new images. Now, back to our patch deployment. After you click Next, you will see that the deployment provides a description. This is your opportunity to provide clarity such as what patches or what labels this patch deployment covers. Then you can select the patch parameters for each OS type. These parameters allow you to either opt in with a broad item such as apply all, critical OS patches, or specific patches that you wish to include. Which one is right for you really depends on what your compliance standard is in your company. If, if each patch needs to be certified before you apply it, perhaps you use specific patches. Or if you are required to deploy critical patches ASAP, you can specify that parameter here. On the next screen, you will select the schedule. This you can be done now, later, or recurring. And then click on the next and specify your rollout options. This gives you the option to select a single zone at a time, as well as what number or percentage of VMs can be patched at a single time, preserving your performance and uptime requirements. Then you can click Next and move on to the advanced options, which give you the flexibility to select Reboot, as well as any pre and post scripts that are required for your VM. If you have any of these, you can apply them and then wrap, up, wrap it all up with the Deploy button, and your patch deployment is ready and executing per your schedule. 
So let's talk about OS policies now. OS policies are YAML files that you use to create for each policy or set of policies that you wish to apply to an operating system. Given this, you should spend time to, to write and test your YAML files ahead of building any OS policy. Once you have your YAML files or file ready for deployment, you can browse the OS configuration management and then click Create OS Policy Assignment at the top of the screen. This will open the form, starting with giving this policy an assignment ID and then a description. Be sure to be as descriptive as possible in this section as it helps you uh, manage multiple OS policy assignments for your specific project. Once you have an assigned ID, you can then click Add OS Policy and browse to the YAML file that you created earlier. Note that you can select as many policies as you want here, and I recommend that you generate a separate YAML file for each policy as this will provide maximum flexibility as things change over time and you want to avoid some risk of rework. Having added all the policies you want, you can now specify your targets. Remember, this is a project level, so you want to work out what VMs in that project should be included in this policy. You can target those VMs through the use of availability zones, OS filtering, or labels. With OS policies, you can select labels to include, as well as labels that you wish to exclude. The rollout rate allows you to control how fast your policy will deploy across your project. So keep this in mind to avoid any potential disruptions to running applications or services. After that is set, click Start Rollout, and you will be able to see your policy listed and watch its status. All right, so that takes us through how to configure OS policies, uh, as well as patch management, to help your organization meet its co compliance requirements. If you want to learn more about VM Manager or start setting it up today, I encourage you all to take a look at setting up VM Manager documentation at the link below. Thanks.